Amid the welcome of ship sirens, a proud liner that was named after her royal passenger sailed into harbour, bringing Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother on the first stage of her three-week visit to North America. Standing on the bridge, Her Majesty saw the familiar landmarks through the early dusk of a misty autumn evening. Placing a battery of cameras amid the sounds of transatlantic arrivals, the Royal Traveller recalled her last happy visit with King George VI in 1939. But ever since our very happy visit here in 1939, I'd always hoped that one day I might come back and stay a little longer in your great country. In the veranda grill of the liner, New York civic dignitaries and many other distinguished figures were presented to the Queen Mother, whose grace and charm and untiring efforts to spread goodwill wherever she goes won the hearts of them all. During her stay in America, the Queen Mother made her home at Wave Hill, the pleasant country residence of Sir Pearson Dixon, the United Kingdom delegate to the United Nations. The drawing room provided a real homely touch. And a portrait of her daughter, the Queen, greeted a devoted mother. In the dining room, there are royal associations too, a canvas of the first Elizabeth of England. And here's a cat who was determined to look at a Queen. It must have been with feelings of real regret that the Queen Mother, who had entered so freely into the social life of the liner, took leave of the ship and her master, Commodore Ivan Thompson. Royal visit begins with New York honoring a much-loved ambassador of Britain, making yet another visit of goodwill to our friends overseas. <laughs>